When we think of carbohydrates, we imagine something sweet and tasty, like sugar, but what are carbohydrates in biochemistry? We all know that the primary function of carbohydrates is to provide energy for the body, especially for the brain and the nervous system. There are many other functions, but I'm not going to discuss them here, since this lesson focuses mainly on the structure of carbohydrates. Before I talk about carbohydrate biochemistry, I want to tell you something. At the end of the lesson, I will give you a single image from a movie which surprisingly contains all the basic information about carbohydrates. So let's get started. A carbohydrate is a sweet tasting biological molecule consisting of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Usually with a hydrogen oxygen atom ratio of 2 and 1, just like water. In other words, with the empirical formula CMH2ON, where M could be different from N. This formula holds true for monosaccharide, mono meaning single, and saccharide meaning sugar, so for single sugars. Carbohydrates are technically hydrates of carbon. The reason why they are called like this is because each carbon has a molecule of water attached to it. Let's take glucose to illustrate this. First of all, you see a carbon backbone which makes it organic. Then you see that each carbon atom has at least one hydrogen and one hydroxyl group attached to it. So if we mix these two together, we get water. You would say, what about the first carbon? The first carbon is part of the functional group, a group of atoms responsible for the characteristic reactions of a particular compound, but we will see this later. They have many hydroxyl or OH groups attached to its structure. And from episode 4 you know first of all that carbohydrates are polar molecules and you also know that they can form hydrogen bonds. With these two information we can deduce that they dissolve in polar solvents like water for example and they can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. So they love water and they mix with water making them hydrophilic. We all see it when we mix sugar with water. So, what are functional groups? Carbohydrates have two functional groups, aldehydes and ketones. Let's talk first about aldehyde. The name aldehydes come from the Latin, which is short form of alcohol dehydrogenate or alcohol deprived of hydrogen. But, before I'd like to shortly remind you about what alcohols are in chemistry. In chemistry, an alcohol is any organic compound in which the hydroxyl functional group OH is bound to a saturated carbon atom and they all have the suffix ol at the end of their name. An aldehyde is any organic compound containing a carbon double bonded to oxygen and single bonded to a hydrogen formed by the oxidation of alcohols. What about ketones? In chemistry, a ketone or alkanone is an organic compound with this structure where R1 and R2 can be a variety of carbon containing substituents. So it's like the carbon with a double bond to oxygen is sandwiched between two radical groups. So carbohydrates are technically polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketones. You remember the number 4 that I said you're going to see it in all episodes of season 1. Let's just use it for carbohydrates also. First of all, the number 4 tells us that there are 4 calories in 1 gram of carbohydrates and it also tells us that there are 4 categories of carbohydrates, monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides and finally polysaccharides. The word saccharide comes from the Greek word saccharon, meaning sugar. While the scientific nomenclature of carbohydrates is complex, the names of the monosaccharides and disaccharides very often end, end with the suffix os. What about the picture from a movie scene I mentioned from the beginning? I chose this scene from Charlie's Angel. The car being hydrated represents the carbohydrates. Also, these sweet sugar cane girls or the white soap foam could remind you of sugar. The three girls represent the three atoms that make up the carbohydrate. Carbon, oxygen and hydrogen. Now let's make the scene a little bit more sensual. The OH represents the hydroxyl group and the girls loving water means that carbohydrates are hydrophilic. You know that the car has four wheels and the four wheels represent the amount of energy in one gram of carbohydrates and the carbohydrate classification. As about functional groups, I've chosen the legendary astronaut Buzz Aldrin to represent aldehydes. Let's just imagine that Aldrin is doing the tree yoga pose and he is holding the moon with two hands while standing on a TIE fighter from Star Wars. I chose to hide Aldrin's image since it is an aldehyde. As about ketones, I've chosen a kitty to represent it since the three letters of each rhyme with each other. You see that the yarn is being sandwiched between our kitty's pose, just like the carbonate group is sandwiched between two radical groups. Now let's get back to our super wet romantic picture and imagine that Buzz Aldrin and his kitty are inside the car being hydrated. And to finish this up, 
We can remember the suffix os from the hoes in these two girls' hand. Two can also remind you that the ho suffix is used in mono or disaccharides. If you really like this video, you can subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media.